The Center for Innovation at Rocky Hill School welcomes Cliff Weitzman, founder of Speechify. Introducing Speechify, the Mac and iPhone app that lets you audiobook anything. Now you can read faster than ever, when it's hard to focus, while you're tired, when you're at the gym, while you're driving, and so much more. Highlight or scan any text from your computer screen and Speechify will read it out immediately. Choose from a range of high quality voices and languages. And toggle the reading speed up to 800 words per minute. Um, hi. Yeah, yeah. This is Cliff. So the word entrepreneurship comes from a Latin root, meaning to elevate economic resources from an area of low yield to an area of high yield. Um, in more simple terms, being an entrepreneur means creating value. It means you take something and you make something that is greater than the sum of its parts. Cliff shared with students that innovation begins when we identify a problem. Is I'm dyslexic. Uh, for people who don't know, dyslexia is basically a learning difference where uh, your brain works a little bit differently than most other people's. Yep. It started with was me identifying a problem. My problem was I couldn't do my school readings. And so most people would just go, well, I just guess school isn't for me. Um, or I need to work really hard. Um, and you do need to work really hard, but you can also think outside the box and try to find original solutions. And so this is an example of what I did here. Students are examining uh, ways they can use their learning to create so there's global impact. million people who have ADD in the developed world. Um, and next, there's 250 million people uh, who have vision issues that are not correctable by reading glasses. So now we're at 800 million people who could use this software um, because for them, reading is a real problem and now there's a solution. Um, okay, so we're at 800 million people. Who's next? It's all the people who love to listen to audiobooks and love to listen to podcasts and really like to be productive. Um, and so what we found is about 60% of the people who now use Speechify don't even have a learning difference. They just want to be able to read faster, um, which we let people do. Uh, and so this is an example of what I did here. And if you look at other projects that I built, for example, the skateboard break that I showed before, um, I had a problem, which was I lent my skateboard to a friend. Um, I found him an hour later with a torn up lip and bleeding knees. And I was like, what happened? He's like, I was going down the hill and I couldn't stop. And so I was trying to teach him how to stop. And I realized that skateboards don't have brakes, which is really stupid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, skateboards is fine because they don't go really fast. But what I use is it's a longboard, which is designed to go fast. And so I Googled brake for longboards. And there was no brake for longboards on the internet. I was like, this is ridiculous. The process of innovation so builds perseverance. It's about becoming an evaluator of problems who can seek um, creative solutions. A um, legal document that gives you ownership over whatever you invent so other people can't copy you. But there was no patents for longboard breaks. And I was like, what? So I drew one, and then I went to the engineering building at Brown because I didn't know how to build something like this. And every engineer that walked in, I was like, hi, what's your name? And I'd say, whatever. And I was like, hi, I'm Cliff. Um, and I was like, I built this thing. And they were like, cool. <laughs> um, do you want to help me build it? And they'd say, um, I mean, it's cool, but I don't have time. I was like, okay, can you give me the phone number and email of two people who you think would be interested in helping me build this? And so they did. And so the ninth person I talked to didn't have time. The tenth person I talked to didn't have time. The eleventh person I talked to didn't have time. The fifteenth person I talked to gave me the number of two people, one of which said, I actually longboard. And this would be really cool, and I'm free this weekend, sure, let's build the first prototype. And so I sat with him at his computer, and he used software called SolidWorks to build a 3D model of what we were going to create. Um, and then I went and found a 3D printer, and we 3D printed the brake, and then I put it on my longboard. And the first one sucked. Um, <laughs> not only did it not break my longboard, it broke in half. Um, and so then I was like, okay, let's find a better solution. And so I continued iterating the, the design and tried to make it better. Um, and found other engineers to help me. And then uh, next to Brown, there's a design school called RISD, which is actually the number one design school in the world. And so what I did is I longboarded down to RISD, and I sat in the lobby at RISD, and every person who came in, I, I was like, hi, what's your name? <laughs> hi, my name is Billy. Hi, Billy, I'm Cliff. Uh, I'm working on this thing. What do you think? It's pretty cool. I know, right? Um, but it's kind of ugly, don't you think? It's like, yeah, it's kind of ugly. Um, do you think that you could make it look better? It's like, sure. And design people love to design stuff. Um, so immediately, he pulled out a piece of paper and started... Cliff models the importance for developing effective cool communication right skills right for the real color. world. Um, and so I did this with 15 different people. And at the end of the day, I came home with a stack of what this should look like to look really cool. And so now I had something that was functional and I had something that was working. 
Um, and this is a very, very small sample set of the people who helped me along the process of building something like Board Break. Speechify is the same thing, right? When I wanted to design it, I'm pretty good at designing, but not as good as some other people. And so I went and found friends uh, at Brown, at RISD, uh, from home, who are good at designing. I was like, hey, Flip uses analysis and think. research and, and models the importance like, of asking cool. for feedback. And like, how could you make it better? <laughs> um, and then they help me make it better. So this obviously goes to a greater thing. This is a good example of how to start with a problem that is very segmented to you. Find your own solution, figure out how to build something that is useful, and then expand it from there so that it helps other people. So if you think about it, I started off building a product that helped people with dyslexia. Um, about 5% of the US population is diagnosed with dyslexia. The estimate is that 17% have it but don't know about it. Um, and I was like, okay, cool. We are helping people with dyslexia. This is a really useful tool for me. Um, who else can we help? At the Center for Innovation at Rocky Hill School, we are asking big questions. How can my thinking, understanding, and strengths benefit a community, a cause, or the world?